My house is an 1895 Victorian house and it probably should have been burnt down instead of sold to me. In my yard, in the city, I raise rabbits for meat and I think that more and more people are going to become geared towards this as it becomes more difficult or more expensive to ship pigs from Virginia. Because I would like to show, you know, that I actually really enjoy having them around as animals. And primarily, that was my main focus. The only reason that I kill them is because, well, I, for me, it was important that I was able to kill something and be an omnivore. It was a personal choice to want to kill something. Ironically enough, most of the people that find offense at my uh, raising rabbits for meat aren't vegans or vegetarians. They just simply disassociate with their source of food. So it's not very hard to defend yourself when you ask just simply, do you eat meat? And when they say, well, yeah, I eat meat, it's pretty much a no-brainer. I've had a lot of disappointment in raising the rabbits. I would say that the disappointment inherent with finding 10 dead infant rabbits on the bottom of a cage is by far the worst. I would say that people being offended when they find out that I actually raise the rabbits for meat uh, is second only to the difficulty of having to pick up dead baby rabbits because usually those people are coming from a perspective of a uh, Disneyland where a rabbit's real purpose is to lay eggs that eventually hatch into Jesus chickens sometime around April and that's their whole concept of a rabbit's place in the world is to be cute because of Bambi and Thumper and the whole thing with Thumper is that no one ate him you know and so it really conflicts with their ideas of Thumper and, and then they get their package of chicken from Illinois or whatever and go about their business, but I think that they're kind of missing the point and that's to me kind of insulting and almost as uh, Negative an experience as picking up dead baby rabbits Which is pretty yucky This guy that's That is weird. a mummified rat that was under this house. I painted him in these jail stripes because I think it's funny <laughs> He's like a prisoner. And uh, I was actually asking my daughter how to, uh, I knew there was something about these horses that could be worked with here. And she just very curtly, you know, told me the obvious, well, have one biting the other one. I engaged my daughter and the idea of buying a couple of rabbits with the future purpose of, of bearing meat. It's an interesting like uh, process, which is like I, like, I like the process of it because you know like we, we raise the babies from when they're born and then like, you know, they grow up and then we like, we choose and I don't know, it's just like kind of like a circle and I really, I really enjoy that. We call it graduation. First, you have your buck and your doe together, the gestation period of one month and then basically you have to remove the buck from the equation. Either you have to facilitate another cage for him or you have to kill him. One or the other because he can't be with the mother, with the young. He's basically not really very receptive to even like teenage sized rabbits. He'll just chase them around and try and hump them. So it's actually best to just remove him by putting him in the freezer. They make babies really fast. I was like, you know, rabbits are known for that, but then like having to like, you know, kill them and stuff, that's gonna be, it actually is like a rough process and like you have to get used to it. And also it was like, um, my dad just didn't, he didn't just start, you know, going out to the woods and stuff. Like 
we tried a couple of different methods that didn't work out very well. So like also you have to find different like tactics of doing it because it's like it's a messy thing. I didn't know uh, how difficult it was to kill a rabbit until I had one in my hands that I was aiming to to kill because he was terrorizing the young kids and I've been given a lot of advice about how other people would go about it, you know, slitting their throats or breaking their necks, hitting them on the head with hammers and all this sort of thing. But when you've got the rabbit in your hand, it, it becomes clear it's pretty, pretty tough to, to go through with those brutal measures. So I've opted to do this with a, with a gun because it, uh, to me, it seems a lot less brutal. They're pretty much completely oblivious to the fact that they're dead by the time they're dead and it's a really uh, it's a painless operation on both me and the rabbit. After I've removed the skin, the head, the feet, the guts, the tail, and then we clean them off, put them in a cooler, put ice on them or whatnot. The only thing I come back with is the hind legs, the back, and the little short legs, the rib cage, no feet, no tail, no guts, no pelt. I don't have really much interest in stapling pelts to my house and drying them in the old way. And I actually had an idea to um, put the ears in a food dehydrator and make earrings out of them. I actually think that would be kind of like cool. I think that people would like that. It would be, uh, I think, something along the lines of harnessing the, the super hearing ability of rabbits. I think that maybe they could go far at Burning Man. Mothers and like their little kids will come by and like it kind of, it draws a lot of attention. Like unwanted and wanted, I guess. Like during the summertime, I'll just be like chilling out there, and there'll be always like people coming. There's a lot of interest and enthusiasm in the rabbits because they're very close to the sidewalk, and kids make their parents come here as a destination of their walk. So their parents are effectively drugged by their children here to look at the bunnies. They call them bunnies. I try to tell them that they're actually called rabbits, but they don't listen. There's a lot of interest and a lot of people that are also interested in um, the fertilizer and the permaculture aspects of, of rabbits and um, also other people that raise other animals or are considering raising rabbits like to talk to me about how feasible it is for them to do. And usually they're pretty inspired and, and I would like to see some people take off with it. Rabbits are cute. Rabbits are food, cute food. <laughs>